everybody. Welcome to the garden. Miss S and I are out here and we are going to take you on a tour of our Earth Day event. For those of you that can't be here, it's been a really great event and we've had a lot of fun. All the classes are walking through. We want to make sure that you are here too. Here we go. Miss Heather and I have been doing art projects and writing projects with Grenville Gators all spring and we put them up to display them in the garden. We're going to give you a tour of some special stations so that you can see your work and work from your Guerneville peers. All right, here's our first station. This station is pretty awesome. We are going to be building a pallet garden. And I'm sure that you've seen these pallets on the side of the road. They're used for grocery stores to stack products on, for wineries, and they can be reused. Remember, we always, when it comes to the planet that we live on Earth, we always want to remember and think about um, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So these pallets can be reused um, to make gardens. There are several really easy steps. If you would like me to send you these steps, please send me an email or let your teacher know and I will make sure to get these, this, um, these instructions to you. What you'll need is a old used pallet some landscape cloth, about three to four bags of soil, a staple gun, and some sandpaper. And you'll need the sandpaper to make sure that you sand down the pallet so you do not get um, splinters. All right. So now we're gonna walk past the first wall in our Earth Day celebration. These are words that Miss Heather worked with classes to come up with full lists of nature work. Do you recognize words? You have color words, you have sound words, taste words, things, words that make us think of nature. And finally, we're gonna walk here past a whole display of kale drawings. As a school, we worked on drawing botanical, realistic pictures of kale. And look what we have down here. Can you guess why I chose this area for our kale drawing? These are Miss Heather's little baby kale plants. They're not ready to eat yet, but soon they will be in your school lunch. All right, so Miss S and I have strung up these old pieces of fabric and now it's starting to get windy. You can see them blowing in the wind. One of the really cool things about the, our planet is that we have many energy sources. And one of the best energy sources we have is the wind. We can harness and capture the wind in many ways to use as an energy source, just like we can harness and capture the sun for solar energy as well. So you can see how these are blowing in the wind. And next year we will be weaving this fabric in through the fence to make really beautiful garden designs in the fence. Earlier this month, we learned about Luther Burbank. Luther Burbank was a very important plant scientist and he created many, many varieties of vegetables and fruit, he even invented the russet potato. Another famous development, I should say, is the Shasta Daisy. Recognize these? We found them right next to the G-Wing. We have beautiful Shasta daisies growing on campus. I asked students to make their own Shasta daisy drawings. We labeled them with the different parts of the Shasta daisy. And many of us also created lists of words that help describe the Shasta daisy. Beautiful, colorful, white, yellow, happy. Take a moment to look at the Shasta Daisy drawing of your peers.
right, our next station is our station for Earth Day slogans. Hopefully some of you caught that video. Some of these Earth Day slogans turned out so beautifully. We have, I love the earth, be happy with two E's as in a bumblebee. I love the earth, you do too. I definitely love the earth. Be happy. Our next one says, warm sun, bright flowers. This one's very beautiful, keeping the earth clean by helping it. And we hug the earth. When you look at this, I'd like you to give yourselves a big squeeze. Say, I love you self. Save the critters. These are some of the third grade Earth Day slogans. Be nice to mother nature. Don't say no way to Earth Day. Clean up the earth. It is the only home we have. Be kind to the earth. Be better to all. A good planet is hard to find. It's definitely true. With one gone on Earth, you could not be. And then we have this here, and Portland took an extra step and wrote a poem, which is so beautiful. Each day the sun shines as flowers grow and kids play in green grass, the fresh air blowing by the trees. As plants grow, the leaves on the trees blow off and land on people's heads as they breathe in the fresh air from the trees. All right, lots of other ones. Keep earth happy and green. Keep the earth clean for happy fish. And no littering, keep, up, keep animals and the earth safe. Those are our Earth Day slogans. All right, an Earth Day challenge for you. I would like you to get outside and look for all the different stages of ladybugs. Here are all the different stages here. We have the eggs, the larva, the pupa. This one sticks to whatever it is on. And then the adult, and then it goes back all the way around again. So look for some of these around where you live. Ladybugs are very, very, um, there's a lot of ladybugs out right now. So go, go outside and check it out. So we are at our final station for today. Behind us is a wall of ideas. I spoke with Ms. Nunez's class and Mrs. Wood's class, and they came up with ideas and ways that we can all help the earth. Here are some examples. I help the earth by planting more plants. This is important to the earth because so many trees are being cut down. Trees give us air and more importantly, they give us oxygen to breathe. We need oxygen in order to survive. <laughs> then it says, I help the earth by sorting out recycling from our garbage. This is important so that we don't have extra trash in the ocean. Nice job, Bennett. Let's see, we've got, we celebrate the Earth Day by recycling. We celebrate Earth Day by saving water. We celebrate Earth Day by using paper bags instead of plastic. Thank you, Isaiah. And we've got Jalen. I helped Earth by cleaning up trash. It helps Earth, then animals do not go extinct. And if all animals go extinct, there will be nothing that survive like flowers. Very nicely said. These are just some ideas that Gurnville students have come up for ways that you can help the earth. What ideas are we missing? Can you think of more things you can do to add to our list? Maybe it means turning off the water when you're brushing your teeth. Maybe it means turning off the light switch when you leave a room or picking up garbage on school campus or around your home. What are some ideas that you have in order to make the earth a happier, healthier place for us to live? In the following weeks in Garden and Library, we're gonna be doing some special activities that will let us help the earth. For Garden, we're going to be doing... We're gonna be talking all about pollinators. How do pollinators help the earth? How do pollinators help pollination happen? What are pollinators? All of these things we will be learning in Garden in May. And for library, we're actually going to talk to our Congress people. We are going to write letters to our elected officials to let them know that we care about the earth and there are things that they can do on our behalf to help the planet. 
We hope that you have a really great Earth Day and a really fun time. Um, and we will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day.